What's up everybody, September 13th, 2021, and today we'll be conquering Pikes Peak here in Colorado. Let's get it. Like that, we summoned Pikes Peak at over 14,000 feet. Easy peasy. Just kidding, we're not going to cheat. It is 7.08 in the morning and we are at an elevation of 6,744 feet and we are officially on the bar trail heading up to the Pikes Peak the old-fashioned way by putting one foot in front of the other. Let's get it. The cool thing about Pikes Peak though is that it is one of the highest summits that you can actually drive to. But where's the point of that? If you do hike it like I'm doing, it is about a 24 miles round trip, 13-ish miles to the summit. So far, we're still only a couple minutes into this hike, but so far, this elevation grade starting off isn't too bad. I like it. Down there is the Cog Railway System, which just reopened back up this summer, and it is the third way to get you up to Pikes Peak after driving or hiking. I hope the sun's not ruining the shot too bad, but look at that view only 15 minutes into this hike. Hey, Ryan, I got a question for you. Yeah, Ryan, what's that? So since this hike is so long, are you planning on camping it? You know, Ryan, that's a great question. And I was planning on camping it, but there's thunderstorms forecast for tomorrow. So I decided I'm gonna push through and try to do this in one day. Oh, nice. That's very safety conscious of you. Yep. This hike's pretty cool with all these big boulders just lining the trail. I wish the sun wasn't ruining these views for you. All right, it's about 808, elevation 7,866 feet. And so far, this hike's had a pretty nice, decent grade up to the top, just full of switchbacks. I'm enjoying it. One thing I've noticed about this trail is that there's a bunch of trail runners running down the mountain. I'll hike any mountain, but running, not for me. Hats off to those of you that do it. Alright, so one thing about the bar trail is that it's also the trail that you take to come down from the incline. And right here is where you could fork off and meet up with the incline. But we're going to the left to keep on going to Pikes Peak. We got it. I think that's Pikes Peak. One of the cool things about this trail is that it's super well defined and they have these mile markers along the way. Right now we're at two and a half miles, elevation 8,340 feet. Let's get it. Mile three. Which means we still have 10 more miles to the summit. Easy peasy. I will say, after you get past the incline merging points, this trail gets a lot more secluded. I like it. All right, so it's about 908, elevation 8,826 feet. And so far this hike's been pretty much just all switchbacks the whole way. Can't really complain though, it's keeping the elevation grade pretty decent. Mile three and a half. Let y'all enjoy these pretty views of this forest I'm walking in right now. Mile four. I will say this whole mile three to four section has been a little bit more mellow than the first three miles. It's kind of nice. Little meadows and forests are always so pretty to me. Slowly getting closer to the summit. Mile four and a half. With all these little mile markers along the way, I'm realizing my pace could be a little bit faster than it is but it is what it is because I'm having to stop and get all these shots. No big deal, we'll get there. 7.8 miles to the summit. This is pretty with all the moss on the rock. Mile five. Over the river and through the woods to Pikes Peak we go. All right, it's 10.08, elevation 9,505 feet. And I think what the reviews were saying about miles three to five being the easiest, pretty accurate. I'm enjoying it. Mile five and a half. Mile six. And it looks like we've made it to bar camp. This camp is pretty much exactly halfway up the mountain. And it's where I would have camped tonight if we didn't have, have all these thunderstorms forecasted for tomorrow. You can rent a cabin to sleep, set up a tent. They have bathrooms. They even cook breakfast and dinner for the guests staying here. Or use your handy dandy water filter to refill your camel pack. Easy peasy. Or use one of the many picnic benches around for a nice little lunch, or as I like to call,
All right, break's over. Back over the river and through the woods to Pikes Peak we go. Six more miles to the summit. Mile six and a half. All right, after bar camp, the grade does get back to getting a little steeper. Nothing too crazy, so I'm still enjoying it. A lot more rocks in this section. Mile seven. As much as I'm loving this trail, I wish it offered more views of the valley down there versus just these small little glimpses you get from the tree. But I figure that's going to change once we get past the tree line. Seven and a half miles. All right, we're passing mile eight at 1202, elevation 11,272 feet. And honestly, as pretty and fun as this hike is, it's pretty repetitive of just going through switchbacks in a forest. Three more miles. Can't lie to you guys, I'm getting tired. Just put one foot in front of the other though. I'll get there. Look at those views though. We've done eight and a half miles. Remember guys, always stay safe on these big mountains. So I thought it was 13 miles to the summit. But I just passed that sign that said three miles to the summit. And then shortly after that, I passed mile marker eight and a half. So that would only mean that it would be 11 and a half miles to the summit. I don't know. We'll get there. All right, so even though I saw this few small trees back there above me, I'm going to say I officially broke out of the tree line at 1245 in the afternoon at an elevation of 11,785 feet. Oh yeah, I knew the views were getting a lot better once you start getting out of the tree line. Nine miles! Not gonna lie, I'm not liking these dark clouds moving in. I might have to stop focusing on filming for a little bit and just focus on speed. Make sure I get to the summit before this storm comes. If there is one coming. I'll keep you posted. Alright, so it's about 132, elevation 12,470 feet. And according to my GPS, it looks like I'm officially on this long straight section of the trail. Less than two miles to go. Good news is, I think these dark clouds are going to pass over. Knock on wood. Mile 10. It doesn't matter how tired you get. Every step makes these views worth it. Final mile. I'm starting to feel a few small drops in my head. We got it, we'll push through. All right, it's 208, elevation 12,975 feet. We can see the summit there. So these few brain drops are not gonna slow me down. When you're trying to race a possible storm and you don't want to stop to eat, but you're hungry. Mile 11! Probably the final marker. This trail is so well defined, even through this big boulder field. There's a nice clean dirt path for you to follow. I love this trail. We are officially on the 16 golden stairs, which is going to be the last final deep push to the summit. Let's do it! Yeah, definitely steeper. Damn, look how steep that train's going. Look at all the rain out there. And nice sunny blue skies at Pikes Peak. Nice. Fred, you did an amazing job building this trail. Offering nice long distance for endurance training. Beautiful views like that. A nice decent grade so it's not terribly hard. A super well defined trail so you can't get lost. So yeah, thank you Mr. Fred Barr. Let's finish this last section strong. Final push! All right, it's 245, elevation 14,175 feet. And we've officially made it to the top of Pikes Peak. Well, that's just sad. I mean, look at the views up here. Where else can you enjoy those at 14,000 feet? Or eat mac and cheese. And yes, kids, dessert does come before dinner. Honestly, it's pretty nice having all this stuff up here after this long hike. Pretty luxurious. And you know what would make it more luxurious? You know how I said it'd be cheating at the beginning of this video to take the motorcycle to the summit? Well, it's different when it went down. It takes some these nice people and they're cute up. I'm taking the easy way out and hitchhiking down. See you next one. Later.